joining us now, AmeriCare's Senior Vice President of Programs and Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Julie Varghese. Um, AmeriCare's is deploying an emergency response team to the areas affected by the devastating earthquakes and is readying shipments of urgently needed medical and relief supplies to supply workers treating survivors. And I think, Doctor, first of all, um, we know AmeriCare's well, very well, and, and we know what you do. And I wonder what the primary challenge is here organizationally, because of, often you can get a lot of supplies, but this, as Kelly just showed us, is, you know, apocalyptic scenes um, that there's so much need everywhere and probably organization just beginning. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, really appreciate being here. I would say, you know, as the, the scenes show, the search and rescue is what's really critical in those early days. Uh, AmeriCare's focuses on health and supporting health systems, and we are sending urgently needed medicines, medical supplies, um, providing funding for healthcare uh, partners and providers to restore health services. But in these early days, um, really that search and rescue and ensuring that anyone who is, uh, you know, trapped under the rubble is able to to be um nope. did we lose her oh doc, dr Vargi, sorry we lost you there for just a second but if we have you back uh, you all have quite a bit of experience at americares in dealing with situations like this as you said earthquake in afghanistan earthquake in nepal a couple in haiti of course um, the indian ocean earthquake in 2004 what have you learned what can you bring to a scene that just looks it's just like a nightmare. Yeah, you know, thankfully, and I'd say fortunately and unfortunately, AmeriCares does have decades of experience responding to natural and uh, complex disasters. We know from our experience that um, health needs are going to be immense and very long term. You know, certainly in the early days, we know that trauma and injuries, wounds are going to be very prevalent, but also people with chronic disease. So people with diabetes, high blood pressure, asthma, they may be out of their medications, they may um, experience exacerbations of their conditions and so chronic disease meds are going to be urgently needed as well and i would highlight that mental health is going to be an ongoing need these are um, regions of the world that are already experiencing such tremendous devastation and conflict um, economic crisis and so ongoing mental health needs are going to be compounded by this disaster Doctor, can you talk a little bit about the immediate problem of getting help, particularly to northern Syria? My understanding is there's just one road that goes in um, from Turkey to Syria. It's incredibly cold. It's obviously been a war zone. Um, and how, how are you worried about what's the situation of people in Syria that we may not have even reached yet? Absolutely. Um, you know, as you mentioned, there are significant challenges with infrastructure damage and only having kind of, you know, certain ways to uh, access the corridor between Turkey and Syria. And so that is definitely a challenge. We really rely on some of those existing partners and their local knowledge of, of the area and ways to access, um, you know, routes and, and locations to be able to access aid. But certainly there are tremendous challenges. And also, as you noted, the cold weather is adding in an incredibly challenging layer to all of the search and rescue efforts. All right. Donations to AmeriCare's Turkey Syria Earthquake Relief Fund will support its response to the crisis. To donate, visit AmeriCares.org. Dr. Julie Varghese, thank you so much uh, for joining us and keeping us updated on everything that AmeriCares is doing. Thank you so much. And, you, and Eugene... You